okay so this is a problem calculation of risk and return okay so we have already studied the theory part now let's calculate the how individual securities are calculated in terms of risk and in terms of return so the given data says we have two securities that is security a and security b so the given data says we have probability so probability is occurrence of chances okay so for security a and for security b so security a return are 4 20 and happening return for probability is 0.5 and security b zero happening is 0.5 that is the probability and for two the probability is 0.4 and for three again it will remain same because both the securities are operating in the same market condition so that way probability of occurrence will be same so by looking at last zero return uh, probability 0.1 but when it comes to security b the probability uh, for return three the probability is 0.1 okay so give the security of your preference and the uh, they are asking us which security should be purchased and the security has to be selected on the basis of return and risk so we have to evaluate the return then we have to evaluate risk so let's solve the problem so this is the given data we are having so for solving return we have to go through this formula so what is the formula solution return is equal to expected return is equal to R I into P I, so R one into P one, so R one is return, okay, for security A we can say four, okay, and the P one is the probability, okay, so plus R two, so R two is two, and P two probability two is zero point four, so R three is zero, and the probability of occurrence is zero point. one so if we put these all values in this formula so we will get like this for security a so i have already told r1 is 4 multiplied with the probability that is 0.5 plus then 2 into return is 2 into 0 uh, 0.4 that is the probability and here it is 0 into 0.1 so at the end expected return we will get is 4.4 .4 into 0.5 will be 2 so 2 into 0.4 it will be 0.8 and 0 into 1 will be 0 so the value is not there so the expected return for security a is 2.8 okay now calculating for security b so security b's return is for 0.5 probability is 0 so that's why it is 0 into 0.5 next is 3 so 3 into 0.4 the probability is 0.4 here and uh, the third is 3 into return 3 into 0.1 probability of occurrence so the expected return is here it will be 0 1.2 and 0.3 so the expected return is 1.5 so by looking at this and calculating so we will come to know that security a's return is high okay so let's calculate uh, risk part so calculating risk so we have the formula for that is uh, standard deviation is equal to summation in i is equal to 1 that is probability into return okay probability into return minus expected return of the security then bracket square and the, this answer will be multiplied with the probability so let's see so we have for security a we know the returns in the last uh, if you see here we we have written 4 to 0 so if you see here so we will find 4 2 and 0 and the probability that was given that is 0.5 0.4 and 0.1 now putting into the formula that is uh, return minus expected return bracket 
square so return is 4 and uh, multiplying with the 2.8 that is expected return which we have calculated for security a that is here so we can see that here it is 2.8 we have calculated so we have taken it here that is 2.8 so whole square so we will get 1.44 so same thing we will do for the second that is 2 minus 2.8 bracket square we will get 0 0.64 okay and for third 0.1 into 0 so obviously 0 minus 2.8 will be minus uh, 2.8 whole square will become 7.84 so after doing this all, so multiplying the value with the probability. So 1.0.5 into this is 1.44. So we will get 0 0.720. So same thing we will do with the uh, this value that is 0. 4 into 0.64 so we will get 0.256 so doing the same again 0 0.1 into so 7.84 so we will get so uh, it's 0.784 so we'll get this value so once we add this all I'm just erasing this for your understanding so after adding this so we will get the value 1.76 so this is 1.76 so rooting the 1.76 we will get 1.33 the square root of 1.76 is 1.33 so the risk for security a is 1.33 let's calculate it for security b so when we look at security b so we have written 0 3 and 3 so probability remains same 0 0.5 0 0.4 and 0 0.1 so the return for expected return for security b was 1.5 so we are deducting it from the return so 0 minus 1.5 so bracket square will be 2.5 okay and 3 minus 1.5 bracket square will 2.25 so 3 minus uh, 1.5 square uh, bracket square will be 2.25 so again we will do the same thing here so we will multiply this answer that is uh, 0 0.25 with probability so 0 0.5 into 2.25 so we will get 1.125 so same thing again here 2.25 into uh, 0 0.4 will get the 0 0.9 and uh, multiplying 2.25 and 2.1 we will get 0 0.225 so adding that all we will get 2.25 and calculating with uh, making the value square root so we will get standard deviation that is 1.5 now just uh, look at the values so if you see the security b has 1.5 risk Comparing to uh, security A, security A's risk is 1.33. And if we see, just one second, if we, if we if we see the return calculation, so A's return is high, that is 2.A. Security B's return is less, that is 1.5. And looking at uh, uh, standard deviation also, security A's risk is 1.33, which is lesser than security b that is 1.5 so the conclusion we can say is in security a the return is high and the risk is low so the return is high and risk is low so hence 
the security is preferable according to us so we have to tell that we have to select security a because the return is high and risk is less 